Conference Boys Soccer. Flint English looking for their first win. Taking on Salem. English in their typical maroon. Salem in the white, all white. Cherubin Masangu in that for English. Andreas Kapoglis. English gets a good shot on net. Right off the bat, Julio Cora. And Kapoglis has to make the save. Oh, English comes out very quickly, gets a shot on net. Kerry King. One of the deans of the coaches in the Northeastern Conference boys soccer. Deflected out in front. Salem trying to clear it away. And we got a whistle. I think somebody got knocked down. Michael Collins, the head guy for Salem. Like a law firm for Salem. Michael Collins. Michael Collins Jr. Aparicio Smart. Alejandro Smart. It's like the Collins Smart law firm. Salem actually tipped it back, went behind, but Salem controls the tip it off. English trying to get a piece of it. English takes it away. Trying to knock it deep. It got deflected. They had a couple of English players breaking, but they couldn't get it across. Nice little touch pass. They knock it deep, looking for a break. Sale will knock it out. English will get a corner kick. They try to send Ryan Lima in down the near side, and it was Luke Mark Anu who wouldn't let him get around. And then I didn't catch the other defender who came in and knocked the ball away. English drills it in front, deflected away off a head. Salem kicks it up. Edward Santos with a rush. Boy, he can fly. He's around the defense, walking in. Big time save by Masangu. Edward Santos just blew by everybody. Walked in, good hard shot, and Masango made a big time save. Boy, he is very, very quick. Santos, he just flew down this near side and got a good scoring opportunity. They knock it down the near side. Salem Hustling will keep it in. Good hustle by Doku. Lima knocked it by, but Salem was there to knock it away. English gets it back. It deflects in. Cora looking for it. And that's a late whistle. They were, I'm not questioning the fact they were offside, but they waited a while before they blew the whistle. Salem will kick it away. Bounced by everybody. They run over the goaltender. It's still in play. They didn't blow the whistle. Now they blow the whistle. That was a little bit late. They ran right over the goaltender. English clears it away. Broken up. Cora with a nice play. His pass is picked off. Cora gets it back, tries to tip it ahead. Broken up again. English just saves it. But they save it right to Doku. Now Cora gets it back. Kept in. 
Lima throws it deep, and they call Cora offside. Gabriel Tertios will take the kick. Tip by Santos, looking to go get it, and he tipped it too far, went out of play. Just gets the quick throw in. Tipped up, Lima looking for it. Tipped ahead, Cora couldn't get there. Salem knocks it deep and out of play. And anything on the near side, they're gonna have to chase the ball that goes out. They don't have any ball boys on the near side. Salem knocks it out. Off Wendy Doku. And Pudia for English throws it in. That one off the hand of Michael Cantone. It bounced up and got on the hand, so English will get a free kick. Arsenal will take it. We'll see where they line it up. Way in the out of bounds area outside the forty yard line. <laughs> Headed away by Salem. And Salem and it overran it, then they got a head on it, keeping it alive. They pop it up and it gets broken up. Salem takes it away. Doku trying to come down the near side. Bumped off the play. Francisco Portillo with the defense. And they're going to give English a kick, I think, with Doku bumping and pushing off Portillo. Arsenal's kick gets deflected out off Lazo. They knock it deep, and again, Julio Cora is called offside. Headed away by Barrios. Down that far side, Salem with a rush. Trying to throw it in front, and he threw it to the side and behind the net out of play. And English will kick it away, and we get a sub for Lynn English. Coming up on 10 minutes into this scoreless first half. English and Salem Boys Northeastern Conference soccer.
You know, I'm just kept it in. Back to Cologne. It gets deflected out by Lazo. And Jan Michael Cologne with the throw in. Nakata try to knock it deep and get deflected. English knocks it deep. Core was offside again. They knocked it deep. Looked like he was going to go all by himself. And there was no question. He was way behind the defense. So Salem will kick it away again. Tercios kicks it away. Headed back. Nakata pops it straight up in the air. Cora got a head on it. He tried to knock it deep. Tercios knocked it away. And he couldn't keep it in. And Pudia tried to knock it deep, but he was standing out of bounds when he hit it. And they'll give it to Michael Cantone to throw in. Nice little shift. They get around. It got broken up by Obed Boswa. Trying to make a move. They knock it all the way back to the goaltender, Kapoglis. He goes out, <coughs> off English. And actually it was free kick, they were calling Lazo for the contact. And it looked like Santos made the contact with him. Knock loose, Cantone knocks it to the middle. It gets knocked deep by Castenda. And they knock it even deeper. And Kapoglis comes out, knocks it away. They almost had a break. Now English knocks it out. And that's Castenda. Or Castaneda, I should say. <coughs> Knocking it out. English takes it away. Broken up. They knock it deep and they called Doku offside. <laughs> I thought I was watching the wrong game. I'm, I'm watching Salem play. And in comes a whole bunch of young guys with Salem uniforms, and obviously that's the JV team. So they're finished. They must have obviously played earlier. They knock it deep. Knocked away. And Pewdy with the defense. Now the ball goes out. And thank goodness they have a ball boy now on this side because that ball went 30 yards behind the net. It would take a month to go get that and bring it back. Headed away by Salem, reheaded by Barrios. Blocked by Barrios. Salem will get the quick throw in. They go back to Canton. English breaks it up, looking for a break. They get by Canton, but they slow him down. They have to bring it back. Now 
knocking it deep. Foot race. Everybody overran it. Salem winds up with it and they kick it away. English keeps it alive. Salem takes it away and knocks it deep. Broken up Nakata with a nice play. Santos tried to tip it back. They would never have caught Santos. Now Santos with those long strides walking in. Another nice save by Masangu. That's twice he's robbed Edward Santos. He's a big boy. He's got long strides. So quick. He just walked in and now Salem gets taken down. And they're going to wind up with a free kick. Santos broke loose again. And with those long strides bearing down, Masango came out, cut down the angle. Man, another big time save. From the 20 yard line. Kick goes through. Masango makes the easy save. And he doesn't kick it, he throws it ahead to Lazo. Looking for Cora. And Cora's going to get called for pushing off. Trying to get position on Cologne. Tercios will take the kick. Off the back, and with a couple of white shirts around him, Masango comes out, and grabs it, and holds on. Popped in the air. Another header. Trying to knock it deep, blocked. Nakata got a piece of it. They deflect it away. Boswell got a piece of it. The English got knocked down. And that's going to give English a free kick. They took Portillo down. And I think with deuces across the board, we're going to get a timeout. Go ahead. Out of the timeout, still scoreless. English gets the free kick from just outside the 35 yard line. I think it's Castaneda taking it. Or Castaneda. They knock it deep, it gets by everybody, and English is way offside. They're way behind all those white shirts. Salem will kick it away. Off the head of Boswa. Tip to the middle, Santos. Leading, header, walking in, and is didn't make the save, Masangu, but he came all the way out and forced them to shoot that over the net. He took the angle away, and they tried to knock it over him. He's a big boy. And in knocking it over him, they knocked it over the net. And that was Rene Najinju. Or Jinju. They knock it deep, foot race. Cora's got good speed. He gets there first, stops, cuts around, dumps it in the middle. Lima couldn't get the shot off. And coming in from behind 
was Mark Anu and knocking it away and knocking it out. And English, I believe, is going to get a corner kick coming from the far side. And Ryan Lehman is going to take it. Halfway through and counting, this first half, no score, Salem and English. Uh, they knock it behind the net, over the net, and out of play. It goes out. Getting back first was Cologne knocking it away. And it goes out off English. It went out off Espinosa. And it goes out off Espinosa again. Corey got a head on it, knocked away, popped up. Cora with it again, knocked down from behind, looking to get the ball, and was Olaf Finmoyan, trying to say that five times fast, Emmanuel Olo Finmoyan. Free kick come from the 35. Out in front, knocked away by the defense. It skips by everybody. And they knock it deep, looking for a break. Santos thought he might beat everybody there. And then they got a free kick from outside the 20-yard line because Masango had come all the way out to get it and knock it away. And luckily for English, with the open net, Salem knocked it wide left and out of play. Santos is hoping for another breakaway on that long lead pass. Masango came out to get it, knocked it away, and when he did, he gave it to a Salem player with an open net, and they all, almost knocked it in. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're going to do it over again. I didn't see any subs. The English kicked it away and it went out of bounds. And now they're saying bring it back and do it over again. Salem was about to take the throw in. I think they call it Cologne. Cologne went with his hand and his elbow. You can't hit it with your arm. He kind of elbowed it and got a piece of it with his elbow in his hand. And English will get a free kick from just outside the 30-yard line. Nakata will take it. And he boots it deep and is headed out by Cologne. 15 minutes and counting in this scoreless first half. 
as we wait for substitutions. One for each team. Salem is a short bench. They only have five, four subs. They got five, but one was, no, now he takes his jacket off. So they do have five. They knock it deep. Santos gets there first, tips it to the middle. They try to knock it deep to Santos. It got blocked by Impudia. Now they knock it behind Santos, out of play. Off the foot of Jinju. English collects and knocks it deep. A foot race. And the goaltender, Kapagalis, gets there first and knocks it away. Santos with it. Trying to knock it to the middle of the field. It got blocked. Nice play by Hernandez. Off ahead. Popped up. Arsenal trying to knock it away, and it was an English player that got knocked down. Got hit up around the head of the mouth. And that was Lima. And they're coming out to check on him. And he's going to go to the sideline, I think. He got hit up around the face of the mouth. That guy might be, might be spitting up a little bit of blood. Get hit around the right around the mouth area. This is second of two so far. We're going to have three here at Manning Field tonight. First one, Lintec, shut out by Chelsea, 2 nothing. We've got this one, and coming up is... Thanksgiving in September, as I like to call it. St. Mary's in Fenwick. The boys. Arsenal boots it away. English collects. And it gets knocked high and wide and out by Cologne. English gets the quick throw in. And now they blow the whistle and say, do it again. Because they get the throw in, it's going to be a corner kick instead of the throw in. They tried to just touch it ahead to Portillo and let him try to center it. Salem got out and blocked it. Got stuck behind the net. And English will get another corner kick coming from the near side. And it'll be Ampudia taking it. To flex off a foot. Salem can't clear it. English trying to keep it in. Salem will let it go out. Salem will get the throw in. Cologne will take it. We'll have substitutions first. Arsenal knocks it ahead, picked off by Jinju. Bodies go down, one apiece. It gets headed away. Santos will track it down. He was trying to knock it to the middle of the net, off the side of the foot, sailed, stayed wide, left, high over the net, and 
out of play. Ten minutes and counting left in this first half. No score, Salem and English. English has played a couple of good games in the tournament. And they got a tough game against Gloucester. Their problem is they haven't been able to put the ball in the net. And somebody got a hand or an arm on it. And English is going to get a free kick. Nakata will take it from his own 35. Oh, he just tips it ahead to Barrios. And his pass too far ahead. English takes it away. Pass too far. Ginger trying to knock it deep, and he knocked it too deep. It goes out of play. He knocks it deep. They head it away. Cora looking for it, winds up with it. It got headed away by Clawson. Now they knock it deep. Salem was there to knock it away. They get it. In the middle to Anu. Clawson couldn't keep it in. And we'll have a substitution for English. And Pudio will throw it in. <laughs> Santos with it, knocks it to the middle. Long lead pass, too far ahead for Santos. Keeps it in, but he's stuck in the corner, trying to get around. Knocked out by Nakata. Corner kick coming for Santos from the near side. We'll have substitutions first. Santos very quickly was trying to get the kick off. Now we'll get substitution and Santos is going out. So he won't take it. Seven minutes and counting in this scoreless first half. Doku will take it. Out in front, Salem gets a piece, blocks it, cleared away by Nakata. Broken up, English pops it up. Barrios will track it down, and it, he lets it go out. It was knocked out by Salem, and Barrios was hustling back, trying to keep it from Salem, getting, keeping it in bounds. Popped straight up in the air. They knock it to the near side. Nice to see Lima back in. He went out getting hit that time. He's back in now. We're happy he's okay. Salem knocks it back. Little touch pass to the far side. English slides and knocks it out. Five minutes and counting now in this first half. 
The Witches Against the Bulldogs. Trying to get it to the middle. It bounces. Masango had to come out all past the 10 yard line to pick the ball up. They go deep to Cora. Colt Cologne knocked it out. They give it to Amputia to throw in. That one goes out off Corey's, Cora's leg. Out off English. Come on with the throw in. They go deep. And it went out, I believe, off the foot of Doku. English will get the throw in. English really hasn't had a good, clean shot on that. Edward Santos has had a couple for Salem. Masango had to make a couple of big time saves to keep Salem off the board could very easily be 2 nothing at least. English tried to keep it in. They did, but then they knocked it out off the foot of Portillo. Deflected. Nakata will just tip it out of play. And Doku... Now it's going to be Cologne taking the throw in. Loose. English will clear it away. Off Cora's head. Two nice shifts, but then stepping in with Boswell to take it away. They knock it deep. Masango will come out and pick it off. Cora knocked it ahead. English with a little bit of a break. Can't get the shot off. Salem caught up, broke it up. Corey Alon was the one that was out in front. Salem caught up and knocked it away. And English is going to get a corner kick. I think it's Barrios taking it from the far side. As this first half is winding down, need the team to score it, although Santos twice almost got Salem on the board. Big time saves by Masangu. Kapoglis hasn't had anything tough. Out in front, English missed the header, and Anu knocks it away. Get back to Lima. Pops it up, headed toward the net. Kapoglis will come out. That's the closest English has come. Getting up near the net and Kapoglis coming out and grabbing it and kicking it away. Anu knocked it behind the intended receiver, Viana. Takata with a nice defensive play. That little touch pass trying to send somebody in. Cologne knocks it back. Kapoglis will knock it high in the air and knock it out of play. Lima will take the throw in. Time winding down here in this first half. Lima couldn't keep it in. English knocks it away. 
Again, a foot race, and again, Kapoglis comes out first and gets it. The last foot race was Portillo, who just missed getting there first. Headed away, knocked away by Cologne. English trying to knock it back. Doku knocking it deep. Anu trying to get there. Getting there first as Nakata and he knocks it out of play. I see the official looking at his watch. As we're winding down this first half, Nakata busted in. Lima trying to knock it deep. Picking it off with Tercios. They knock it high and deep over the net and out of play. And that'll do it for the first half. So Salem had really the only choices. Edward Santos on two breakaways. Masango making two big time saves for English. English just offside a couple of times. When they did try to get break, it was Kapoglis coming out of the net, picking the ball off before they could get there. So neither team scores at halftime. English, nothing. Salem, nothing. Welcome back to Manning Field as we set to start the second half. And we're going to start the second half the same way we started the first half. 0-0. Zero, zero. Again, the only really ch chances anybody had was Edward Santos. Two breakaways and Masango came out and blocked them both. There was one other breakaway, but uh, he came out and cut down the angle and he shot it over the net, didn't get it on net, didn't have to make the save. But he actually did a nice job forcing them to shoot the ball higher than they wanted to and knocked it out of play. English had a couple of chances where they were just a step or two ahead and offside were called. They got, they got the long pass, looking for the break, and they would call for the offside. So they never really tested Kapoglis in net Coming back, pushing it, pushed it deep. English knocked it out, catching up. And Salem, I think it's a Salem. It's not their first corner kick. I was about to say first corner kick, but it's not. They had one before. I think it's Doku taking it from the near side. They pop it up, it bounces, and they, it bounced high, they got a foot on it, and I guess they're saying that Masango got a hand on it because it wound up bouncing on the top of the net. I think it was Olaf Finmoyan who got a foot on it, and he, it was bouncing high. He tipped it up, and I think... Masango just got a little bit of a piece of it and tipped it up on top of the net and out of play. And the corner kick is coming from the far side. So that was an almost. Now that was an almost. They got a header and Masango makes another big time save. He was sitting there and he got a head on it and knocked it right into his lap. Cologne tracking it down. He'll knock it back to Kapoglis, and he'll knock it away. They're trying to get it to the far side. Now they knock it down. Cora can't get there.
that went out and it went up. It looked like I thought Salem headed that and it went out, but they're giving it to Salem to kick away. I thought English was going to get a corner kick. Barrios knocks it ahead, looking for the return pass. It got broken up by Anu. Salem knocking it to the net, and they're going to call Santos offside. Pass was coming from the far side. Santos cutting to the net, got behind everybody for the offside. They get it over to Barrios on the near side. He boots it deep. Cora. And they call him offside. Again, a little bit, a little late whistle. He made the pass. He blocked it, touched pass. Coming down the near side. And then they blew the whistle. Santos almost pushed it by. He was going to go get it. Lima knocks it deep. Colon heads it away. They knock it deep. Santos knocks it in. It looked like he was offside, but they, they didn't make the call. They finally got Santos out in front, and Masango had no chance that net had no chance. So the long pass gets Santos loose for the third or fourth time in the game. He got stuffed before, but he banged it home that time. And Salem grabs a one nothing lead. Again, it looked like he got an extra step and was behind the defense, but they didn't call it. English trying to keep it in, and they got a head on it, but knocked it out. English takes it away. And Cologne will let it go out of play and take the throw in. Contact made, they call it against English. Salem will get the free kick. And they knock it deep. It bounces loose. Nicola knocks it away, Salem knocks it out. And it was actually Boswell that knocked it loose. Hustling back. Off of Salem head, out of play. Olafin Moya knocked it out. Deflected toward the net. Masango comes out, grabs it. Trying to knock it deep, deflected. Salem winds up with it. Joku trying to come to the middle, gets it around one, can't get around another. English knocks it into the Salem bench area. Headed away by English. Salem takes it right back. Nice little shift there, takes it to the middle. Another nice shift again. 
They throw it deep. Out in front, hit the post, and there's Santos knocking it in. Deflected, it hit the post, looked like English got a break, it hit the post, it bounced right out in front, and there was Santos sitting right on the doorstep. He knocks it home, and it's 2 nothing Salem. Tough. It looked like a good break for English initially when it hit the post. Then it bounced out. But it bounced right out in front, and Santos said, thank you very much. He gets his second goal, and Salem jumps on top two to nothing. Couldn't have been set up any better out in front. They knock it deep, looking for Cora. They knocked it too deep. Kapoglis will come out, scoop it up, and kick it away. Good high, booming kick past midfield. Kick it back to Kapoglis, and he boots it away. It goes off ahead. <laughs> Tipped ahead. Coming down the near side. Trying to throw it in front. Broken up by Nakata. They knock it deep. Nakata gets there. Keeps it alive. Keeps it in play. English to pass, broken up. Anu tips it to the near side. Looking for it there is Collins. Coming out, Kapoglis picks it off. Lima got triple teamed. Anu trying to knock it upfield and does. They get it ahead to Collins. Tipped, can't get around the defense. Nice job there. I think it was Coelan. Coelan. It was either him or Castaneda or Castaneda. Kick is away.
knocked out by Salem. English will get the throw in. English knocks it deep, looking for a break. Getting there and knocking it out is Kurt Colossus. Corbett trying to get around, it gets knocked out. English will get a corner kick. And I often wonder what the ball boys are doing. They're, they're, the game is down this end of the field. They're at the far end. That's fine. But throw the ball down. They roll the ball down. It took, they almost could have gone and get the other ball behind the net, which is eight miles away. Out in front, Salem got a piece and headed it away. English couldn't get a piece. Salem knocks it deep. And then Salem gets there first and knocked it out, I believe. Quick throw in. Salem picked it off. They hit the Collins on the near side. Trying to get around. Barrios couldn't. Anu picks it off. Barrios got knocked down, no call. They throw it deep to the other side, trying to go to the middle. He tried to make a play. Got a little shot off, not much of a shot. Asango was able to make the save off the shot by Doku. He could have got a shot off early. He tried to make another go around and get a little more open and a little closer, trying to get around the defense, and they shut him down. And he had to take not as good a shot as he would have liked to get. And we got a whistle for some infraction. I don't know what that was. I don't know if it bounced up against somebody in the hand. But now Salem is going to get a free kick. The official is stepping in for some reason. I'm not sure what that was all about. But the free kick will come from right in front of the Salem bench. Tercios gets it up, out in front. Masango, two hands, slapped it away. Now it's bouncing loose, and it's headed in by Santos. Uh, not, not Santos, excuse me. It's Santos in by Anu. It went high in the air. It took a bounce. There were two white shirts there waiting. And when it bounced, Masango couldn't get to it. And Anu was there to just tip it into the open net. And just, just past the 15-minute mark of this second half, we got a timeout with Salem jumping out to a 3 nothing lead. So 3 nothing. it can't get any easier than that. They hit a high pop-up. It went up in the air. Everybody waiting for it to come down. It came down. It bounced right between two white shirts. And there was Luke Mark Anu. And all he had to do was touch it and knock it in the open net. I think Masango was waiting for one of his defenders to knock it away. Nobody really reacted except Anu, and he knocked it in the net, and it's 3 nothing. They walk in, and they bang it home. All of Finmoyen banged it in. It deflected. Loose, it was out in front behind everybody. 
And he walked in all by himself and just blasted it by. Masango had no chance. And just like that, it's four to nothing. So after a 0 0 first half, with Salem having the only real chances, and there's Masango coming out and helping himself. Santos is there looking for a hat trick, trying to get a piece of it. Masango went over the pile. And just got a hand on it and slapped it away. Otherwise, Santos would have had a hat trick and it would be five to nothing. They knock it deep. English trying to get there first. Capagos come way out of the net looking to get it. He couldn't get there. English got there first, but they tap, trying to tap it by. Instead, they knocked it out of play. That was Lima looking for the breakaway, and he knocked it wide. Obviously, the only thing left here is, will English get on the board? Because I don't think they're going to get four. I'd like to see that, but they're having trouble getting the first. They blasted it, and it went high off Portillo. Portillo hustles and saves it. They try to give it back. They threw it behind him, but he hustles and gets it back again. Doku breaks it up. Nakata took it away. Impudia. Trying to knock it deep. And they were bothering him all the way down. Salem finally knocked it away and knocked it out. English will get the throwing just about the English bench area. And it get popped up and knocked out of play. English will get a corner kick. Capoglis will kick it away. Cora got a piece, but he's surrounded by four white shirts. He gets knocked down, and we got a whistle. And again, it, the whistle came. He got knocked down. Salem had the ball, and just as they were going to kick it upfield, they blew the whistle. It didn't come when he got knocked down. The free kick is going to come from the 12-yard line. And Portillo's going to take it. Pops it up and knocks it in. English gets on the board. Perfect kick just inside the near post under the top crossbar.
Let's see if this gives English any a little momentum. That was a perfect kick by Francisco Portillo. Nice little touch. Got it right under the top crossbar, just inside the near post. Salem trying to get there, and they do, but then English takes it away. And they bang it off Salem, out of play. English will get the throw in. Trying to knock it to the net. Cora trying to get there. Keeps it alive. Trying to get around. Trying to throw it in front. It got deflected. English keeps it in. Portillo trying to get it to the net. Coming across was Olafemoyan. Got a piece of it. And then Portillo, they're calling it off Portillo. As we're halfway through and counting the second half, a big second half for Salem. Tercio kicks it away. Knocked out by English. Oh, the official was pointing the other way. Now they blow the whistle. English threw it in quickly, thinking it was theirs. I saw the official pointing the other way. So they're giving it to Salem for the throw in. Knocked away by Glasgow. Cologne knocks it deep. Back there is Arsenal knocking it away. Salem coming right back. Deep down the far side. English breaks it up and knocks it away. Down the far side, English keeping it in. Can't control it. It was bouncing high. Couldn't really control it. wasn't down on the turf. But then Salem hustled back and knocked it out. Cologne knocked it out. Now he knocked out again by Salem. English will get the throw in. Salem knocks it away. Bodies go down. Collision at the 40-yard line. It was Jinju. And he took Boswell down. Trickio drills it and off an English head. And English can't keep it in. One off Fernandez's head. Substitutions for both teams. And he does knocks it out. Now it'll be a corner kick. Loose, still loose. Salem trying to control it. It finally gets tipped away from the net. 
English trying to clear it away. Nobody can really get any good foot on the ball. They finally poke it away out near midfield. Kapoglis came all the way out, broke up the play, and the ball was loose with an open net, but English couldn't get to it. Deep Salem controls. They take the shot and knock it high away and out over everything. That's Santos. Still looking for a hat trick. 15 minutes and counting left in this one. A big second half. Salem's put four on the board. The English cut one back. Well, that's where we are, four to one. Behind the back and they score. A behind the back pass by Santos. And Jinju knocks it home. They get their four goal lead back. Santos going to the right just a little behind the back, shoveled it. And Rene Jinju walked in and just slid it right past Masangu, who had no chance. And just like that, it's five to one. Terrific pass by Santos. So Santos has figured in on three of the five goals with the two goals and now an assist. And that was just an absolute perfect pass. I'm surprised they didn't call Cora offside. He was way behind everybody. Salem knocks it out. Colossus knocking it out. Salem knocks it away. Santos trying to collect, broken up. Jinju knocks it ahead. He's got a head of steam up. Getting there first was Arsenal knocking it out. Again, a little behind the back pass again. It was Jinju with the behind the back pass. He copied Santos. And I believe it was Emmanuel Olofemoyan picking up his second goal. So Jinju did what Santos did, a little behind the back shuffle. And Emmanuel Olofemoyan walked in and just knocked it home. Now I'm having trouble. I don't know if that's a six or an eight. I'm giving 
all of the Moyen credit. And I think it's an eight rather than a six. It's hard to pick. All the numbers are usually easy, especially Salem's numbers have been a piece of cake. But that could be an eight instead of a six. Cora has been frustrated all night. He's been called offside a few times. And it's number eight. It's not number six. It's Quinn Galanti Barrett who has the two goals. So I apologize to Quinn Galant Barrett. I'm sure Emmanuel Olafamoyan wasn't upset that I mentioned his name, but it was Quinn Galanti Barrett with the two goals. That last one off the pretty two perfect passes behind the back. One by Santos, one by Jinju. Santos to Jinju for the goal. Then Jinju for Galante Barrett for his second goal. So Santos and Galante Barrett both have two goals apiece. Jinju has a goal and assist. And Luke Mark Anu has the other one. Ten minutes and counting left in this one. Sam's going to get the big win. And now Cologne slams into the English player and takes him down, and he's down. Let's hope he's going to be okay. Right in front of the English bench. A hard shot there. This is a non-contact sport, by the way. Getting up, thank God. That was a hit and a half. And he's very gingerly watching, walking over to the bench. Let's hope he's going to be okay. I don't know if that was Barrios. English going to get the free kick from the 30-yard line. Salem gets a piece and knocks it out. It'll be a corner kick for English. Tipped out. Salem will clear it away. Right now, English is working on what may work the next game because this one is virtually over with seven and a half minutes left, down six to one. They have to make a major miracle for English to come back here.
That's from us. When you go see the coach for you, roster, who the goalie is, and what the record is. We got a whistle. And Salem's going to get a free kick from outside the 35 yard line. Kind of strange after a 0 0 first half, although Edward Santos did get loose for a couple of breakaways. And Musango made a couple of big time saves, but 0 0. A pickoff by Cora, and he just couldn't get control of it. It almost looked like he stepped on it or got stuck on it. He looked like he was going to break away. Now he gets knocked down. When he picked it, it looked like he was going to pick it and walk in, but then it almost looked like he stepped on it and it held him up for a second or two, and he couldn't break in. But after a scoreless first half, all of a sudden we get seven goals scored in the second half. Unfortunately, only one by English. But there's a barrage in the second half after none in the first half. And Pudio will get the free kick from the 20-yard line. Off the top crossbar, almost a perfect kick by Alberto Ampudia, and he didn't get a break. It was going in to the far side. It hit up on the top crossbar and bounced out. Tough break for Alberto Ampudia. Just a, on, an inch away from being a perfect kick. Knocked out by Salem. English is going to get the corner kick, I believe. Bounces loose. Cora got a head on him, but couldn't get it to the net. Deflected it away. Salem will head it away. Nakata. Battling keeps it in. Good hard work by Nakata. Gets taken away. English pushes it ahead. And back there is Tercios. Turkios. He just got there one goal, a perfect kick by Francisco Tortillo, or Portillo, on a free kick from just about the 15-yard line, actually the 12-yard line, and just tipped it and positioned it perfectly under the top crossbar, just inside the near post. That was after Salem had scored three. Salem has added three more, and it's six to one. And 
English can't keep it in. They knock it out. One out off Ryan Zolo. I knew what to throw in. Deflected. Final two minutes in this one. English is going to have to wait till the next game for their next win or their first win. English coming back. They pushed it a little too far, but they get it back. And they pushed it too far again. And Colossus will clear it away. So after a score this first half, Santos got loose, scored two in a row. And then a kind of a fluky goal. He hit a pop-up and went high in the air, bounced twice in front of the net, and nobody got a piece of it. And there was Galante Barrett to just tip it in and knock it home. Or Luke, or I'm excuse me, to knock it home. And then Barrett, Galante Barrett got his first of two. And then a perfect behind the back pass from Santos to Jinju got them a goal. And then Jinju followed suit with a behind the back pass. And it was Galante Barrett knocking it in for his second goal. And in between, after Salem opened up a 3 nothing lead, it was a perfect kick by Francisco Portillo on a free kick to knock it home. But that's, that was it for English. They got one. Salem got those three quick ones, two in a row by Santos. Santos gets two. Galante Barrett gets two. Santos picks up a, a assist. Jinju gets a goal and assist. And Anu gets the other one. And the one goal, Portillo for, for English. And it winds up with Salem putting a big six in the second half. And he win it. Over the Bulldogs of English, 6-1. to one. English will have to wait yet another game to get their first win. 6-1. Salem over English. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.